Hi, everyone. Welcome to our virtual interview day. My name is Kaylin Russell. I'm a first year in the clinical emphasis, and I'm working with Dr. Ty Vernon. Um, and today I'm going to be talking to you about hiking in Santa Barbara. And here's my email um, and contact information in case you have any questions at all on any of the hiking trails or just our program in general. Feel free to reach out. Um, so the first trail I'm going to talk about is called Gaviota Peak. This one's a really gorgeous trail. It's very steep and hard. Um, I went with one of my lab mates one of our first weeks in Santa Barbara. This one's a little bit further from campus. It's about 25, 30 minutes away. Um, and it's over near the Air Force Base, but it's really pretty. It's a beautiful drive. You literally drive on a road that goes through a mountain to get to this trail. Um, and it's six miles up and back, um, and it's quite the elevation gain, but as you can see, it's great views. And we were there on a pretty cloudy day, so I would imagine on a clear day, it's even better. Um, another one of my favorites is Hot Springs Loop. Um, this is near Montecito, which is about like 15 minutes from campus. It's um, closer to downtown Santa Barbara than campus is. Um, this is just a three and a half mile loop. There's a lot of fun rocks that you can climb up and pretty views. Um, and there actually are hot springs on this trail. So um, a lot of people you'll see on the hiking trail have their swimsuits on and you can go sit in the hot springs. You could go at night and stargaze while you do it. It's pretty cool. Um, and then nearby is Cold Springs Loop. Um, so this one also has great views. Um, it's just a nice little loop. The elevation's not too bad. It's pretty easy, um, but on a clear day, you can see basically all the way to, to campus from up here. And this is in Montecito um, as well, near Hot Springs. Um, off of Cold Springs is Montecito Peak. So the trailhead actually to Cold Springs has um, multiple different trails that go off of it. And if you keep going up, you find Montecito Peak, which is absolutely gorgeous views. Um, you can see all the way down to Carpinteria on your left, and then you can see all the way to downtown Santa Barbara on your right. Um, get great mountain views. And on a nice day, there's a bunch of parasailers up there, um, which is really cool to see as well. This is a longer hike. It's about seven and a half mile loop. And also quite the elevation gain. It gets pretty steep at the end, but it's totally worth it. Another fun one is Rattlesnake Canyon. Um, yeah, this one uh, was up and back, um, really pretty views. You're in the mountains, you get to go like in the woods a little bit. So you get creek views as well. Um, as you can see, I was there on kind of a cloudy day. So underneath those clouds in the back is the ocean but this is a really cool one too. And it's called Rattlesnake Canyon for a reason. Um, I didn't see any rattlesnakes when I was on this trail, but I know a couple of my friends have. Um, Romero Canyon's also a good one. We did this one on the only day it's rained since I've been in Santa Barbara, but it was still super fun and super cool, um, even in the rain. Um, so this one's really gorgeous. You can just hike along the mountainside and see all of Santa Barbara's views. Aliso Canyon Trail, this is over in Los Padres National Park. Um, so this is past campus. Um, it's really pretty. There's a lot of camping out here too, camping and hiking trails. Um, as you can see, we went in the fall, so you can see some of the fall colors down below. Um, this is a really pretty trail, pretty easy. Elevation gains, not too bad. A lot of wildlife as well out here. My personal favorite place to go in all of Santa Barbara is Lizard's Mouth Rock. Um, so this isn't so much of a hike. It's more of just a little stroll. You do some like uh, rock hopping to get up there, but it's only like a quarter mile. Um, so you can go in flip flops if you really wanted to and um, bring some drinks and just enjoy the sunset. It's the prettiest sunset view in all of Santa Barbara, in my opinion. So this is a must go when you come to Santa Barbara. 
And then if you are someone who doesn't love elevation and hiking can be tricky for you, Santa Barbara also has amazing beach walks. So these are just some of them. There's way more, but Butterfly Beach is really pretty. It has nice cliffs um, as well as a really great bike path and walking path um, covered in flowers. The Mesa is a great beach as well. There's a lot of surfers there. Um, campus Point is actually on our campus. There's also a lot of surfing that goes on there and a nice little loop trail that people run and walk on. Um, Miramar Beach is super, super beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Malibu. Um, East Beach is right downtown by the wharf and the harbor. And there's a nice little bike path that goes. Um, sometimes I'll run down there. I can, you can run like, I don't know. I think it goes like up to six miles, but it connects all the way from like Shoreline Park all the way down to Butterfly Beach. So you can go pretty far. Um, and then Hammonds Beach is also a little secret beach that's connected to Miramar where there's a lot of surfing and it's a great beach to walk down and watch the sunsets on as well. So that's just a little bit about some outdoor activities you can do in Santa Barbara. I definitely recommend it. It's a beautiful place and grad school can be pretty stressful. So you've got to make sure to spend some time outdoors and enjoy it. Um, like I said, feel free to reach out with any questions you guys have at all. And I look forward to hopefully meeting you soon.